Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Eduardo Rapido. And I'm Alex McCarty. Today is Thursday, November 21st, and we're here with your morning announcements. Attention lead members, today at 3.20 in HM1 is a mandatory meeting where we will be starting the Angel Tree Project and finishing up the card project. This Friday is the deadline to turn in cookie dough orders and money. Attention all basketball students, the boys basketball managers have been picked. Please see Mr. Billings for more details. However, women's basketball is looking for managers. Please come by HJ2 to meet Coach Roth and get an application. Hey Wolfpack, this is a reminder that the outlet submissions are now open and will be open until December 3rd. Submit your piece using the link or by using the QR code. Remember, you can write about anything that's on your mind. It can be completely anonymous. We want your voice to be heard. Attention MSA members, there's a meeting today at 3.30 in Ms. Munson's room, HP2. If you missed our first application workshops, we will be having another on, in, on January and February for Fall 2020. If you auditioned for Pack Savvy, the list of performers who will be in the show have been posted on the bulletin inside the cafeteria. The show will be on Friday, December 6th at 6 p.m. Tickets are $2 at the door. Come and support your friends and witness some amazing talent. Now let's pass it on over to Horace and Girona for your sports update. What's going on, Wolfpack? I'm Hara Sakab. And I'm Matthew Joner. We're here with your sports update. In school sports news, we would like to congratulate the varsity football team for making the semifinals. This Friday at 7 p.m., we'll be playing against Elk Grove High School. Tickets are $12 for adults and $5 for students, which needs to show their ID card at the entrance gate. Non-CO students must watch the game on the visitor side. Middle school students and younger must be supervised by an adult. No backpacks are allowed. Tickets can be purchased online. Check your Synergy email for the link. In professional sports news, the Golden State Warriors were blown out by the Dallas Mavericks, 94-142. to Luka's 35-point triple-double had sparked the blo Warriors' blowout. This game sends Golden State to its worst loss since 1973 and keeps them at the bottom of the Western Conference. The Clippers had a game against the Boston Celtics last night as well, and was that quite an interesting game. It was the first game the Clippers' dynamic duo of Kawhi Leonard and Paul George played together, dominating the Celtics. The Clippers ultimately won in overtime, 104-107. to In college sports news, Memphis center James Wiseman will be suspended a total of 12 games before becoming eligible to play on January 12th, the NCAA announced Wednesday. The freshman is also required to donate $11,500 to a charity of his choice based on the amount that his mother received from the current Memphis head coach, Penny Hardaway, in 2017. Well, that's all we are for today, Wolfpack. I'm Matthew Drona. And I'm Hara Back, Back to, to you, anchors. anchors. Thanks, guys. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Andrew Dagapito. And I'm Alex McCarty. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Gingerbread, Gingerbread Cookie Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.